guys, I don't even have to say this, but I'm going to say it. Just what a terrible year, especially with, like, you know, just what everything is going on. Just also seeing your favorite kind of idols just go. You know, I talked about earlier this year, David Bowie and Alan Rickman. And to just top it off in 2016, it, what worse way than having, you know, Carrie Fisher go on. And now, you know, she's not with us anymore. Of course, you guys, you know, 99, 98% of you guys know what who she is, what she's known for playing Princess Leia in the Star Wars movies. You know how much I adore those movies. So, you know, when I woke up the morning that, you know, it was announced, it really shocked me in some way. And death is unfortunate to whoever. Whether you know them, whether they're strangers, it's unfortunate in general. But when you knew someone or you grew up with their talent and you know they had a special connection to you it affects you in this terrible sickening way and and this was one of them like i felt this with like robin williams and you know today i was just like oh this is this is a bummer this is tra this tragedy is unfortunate and she had a, already a couple of days saying that you know she went to a, a cardiac arrest or she had a heart attack and you know, I was hoping for the best, but, you know, turn, you know, the other way went around and, and, you know, you can't really blame anybody. It's just really, this is how life is, sadly. But, you know, what we can do best is, you know, pray for her, her family, mourn for her. We just be thankful that she gave us an incredible character. And I'm glad that these last few years, she was just embracing the character again. She realized... She was going through so, you know, sober tea. She didn't want to get through alcohol anymore. She was trying to change her life. Kind of like how similar how Robert Downey Jr. had his second chance in Hollywood. She was trying to get things to run together. And I was, I'm glad that she was able to witness, you know, how much the fans cared for her during her Force Awakens press screenings. And even though, yeah, we're going to miss her, you know. It just sucks that she's still gone, even though this is how life is. But, you know, you don't want this to happen to anybody Especially when someone mean, meant a lot to you, you know, she wasn't only just a princess in general. She was a queen to us fans, you know, her Star Wars family. The queen to the galaxy and she was the original one, the original badass female hero. But in the way where she was a female, but she didn't need to be marketed as a female hero. She was a hero in general. It's just she pioneered for a lot of people. She, I, what are the odds that... I was just watching Rogue One and A New Hope another day, the other day too, and you know, before this terrible thing happened, I was just reminded, you know, how great and how appreciated we should feel that Carrie Fisher was in our lives, and she just, huh, she has a great performance in A New Hope, and just like when she takes matters in her own hands from Luke and Han and shoots those stormtroopers, finds a way out. I just loved the way she, she represented for the movies, and just carries herself. I don't know her too well, but what I've seen just from like you know interviews she feels like a nice person to hang out with i love that you know if she had any demons she would fight them off and try to course correct for a better life and you know like like i said it's just terrible i, I was in shock i didn't know what to think it bothered me damn this really does feel terrible for especially the star fans it's just yeah she had a family she had a personal family but I hope she knew that she had a Star Wars family that appreciated her too, that loved her so much. And I'm glad, just in an optimistic, slightest way, she shot her scenes for episode 8 so we can see her one more time in her glory, remembered as the terrific, talented actress she was, playing the iconic role that made us all just fall in love with her. These are just a couple of thoughts where, you know, I think about this passing. She has a connection to Star Wars, which has a connection to me just appreciating film, getting through any obstacles I had in life. And Carrie Fisher, you know, from, you know, everybody has said their wishes, but representing all of us, your Star Wars family. We'll miss you and thank you for everything you've done. That is it, guys. You know, if you guys want to say, you know, how much she meant to you in the comments below, let me know. I will check out everything. As always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.